Now, just a day after Lee Bowyer was told he could leave Charlton because he was asking for too much money, there has been a remarkable U-turn. Bowyer has now signed a one-year contract extension at the club. So how close was he to actually leaving the Valley? For me, it wasn't close. Uh, obviously, the statement went out yesterday early evening and um, I wasn't really aware of it, if I'm honest. I'm, I'm out in France at, at one of my lakes, so it was only when I spoke to my wife that um, she said, oh, apparently you've you've gone. Um, but I literally spoke to the owner just before I, I spoke to my wife and, 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 she, and, and I had a normal conversation with him, you know, it was... It was Civilized and and we was negotiating and uh, it was only when I come off the phone that I'd, I'd heard that there was a statement gone out. I've stayed for a reason and uh, we're, we're going to need them to play a massive part like they did um, last season and, and just to keep coming and support the lads. That's what I can say. And, and and if they do anything like they did last season, especially towards the end, then uh, then then it'll be um, it'll be a great achievement and and we can carry on this journey together. Well, a look at the Charlton website shows us just how quickly this story has changed because yesterday Charlton released a statement on that site saying they were unable to reach an agreement, but by today, that contract extension has now been agreed. Two, three hours after I originally spoke to him, around five o'clock English time, six o'clock English time, then uh, he then called in the evening and said, look, Lee, um, I would like to, to, to agree with what we'd spoke about earlier and... Uh, Let's move things forward and, and, and start planning, So, um, which was great to hear, you know, because all I wanted to do is stay at the club. I love the club. Um, I think everybody knows that. And uh, so to hear that, it was, it was great. So, Boyer will lead Charlton on their return to the Championship, and he now wants to focus on building a squad that is capable of staying in the division. But he knows it will be difficult. We're going to have the lowest budget in the league. Um, so for me, to, to stay in the league is, is going to be just as a big of an achievement than, than what getting promotion last season. So it's going to be tough, but I know I've got a good team around me and uh, we're, we're going to be bringing in some good players with the players that we've got already that are also good. So um, And we've got the fan base back on the side. And it, at our place last season, we only lost two home games last season. And... Uh, our fans played a massive part in that. So once we all come back together and, and when we get things right in pre-season, I think we will surprise a lot of teams. So um, I'm really looking forward to the challenge.